after a lackluster Christmas last year, EastEnders bosses are pulling out all the stops to make sure the 2017 festive season is one to remember. Max Branning will be taking center stage as his revenge storyline reaches an explosive climax. Following a year of secrets, lies and surprises. Reassuringly, the Brannings have a proven track record when it comes to delivering great Christmas episodes who could forget the reveal of Max and Stacy's affair in 2007, or the unveiling of Max's secret wife Kirsty at his nuptials to Tanya in 2012. So hopes are high for this year. With Max's life set in unravel in the weeks leading up to Christmas, when his involvement with Wilmot Brown and his family are laid bare to all Walford's residents, he finds himself outcast and desperate. But bosses have said the events that follow will change Albert Square forever, after they release the first set of spoilers from the festive installments. It's not set to be a happy Christmas for the Carters either, as the fallout from the sale of the Vicks Freehold comes back to haunt them, placing Mick in danger of losing his freedom. But how will it all play out? Here are all the questions and theories we have. Will Max kill Ian and Phil? Having become increasingly unhinged after being cast out by all that he has wronged, Max tries to take matters into his own hands as he tries to claw his way out of the impossible situation he's made for himself. Unfortunately for Ian Beale and Phil Mitchell, he seems to have murder on his mind, as he looks to wreak his final revenge for his wrongful imprisonment. For Lucy Beale's murder will he go through with it? Who is Max's Christmas angel? With his relationship with Fee Browning likely to be exposed when his involvement with Wilmot Brown is laid bare for the residents, it is likely Carmel. Kazemi will be giving Max the old Havaho. However, bosses have said he will be seeking solace in the arms. His very own angel this Christmas, which we're guessing won't be either Fee or Carmel. Could fans see the return of his ex-wife and one true love Tanya? It certainly would make the epic Browning Christmas bosses have been promised. As fans have long been calling for the return of actress Joe Joyner. What destroys Max? As the storyline comes to a head, and just when Max thinks he can find his own savior, an unearthed piece of evidence looks set to trigger his ultimate downfall in an apocalyptic scale. Could this be the voicemail Jane B. left on Stacy Fowler's phone that was stolen by Bernadette Taylor? Or, with Max's secrets out in the open, could Jane return to the score to reveal he tried to kill her in the restaurant fire? How will it affect Lauren and Abby? We've been promised the Browning family will be destroyed forever, and with Lorna Fitzgerald and Jacqueline Joss leaving their roles. As Abby and Lauren, could Max seek revenge against them? Or will they leave in pure disgust at what their father has been up to? Will the Carters lose the Queen Vic? While it may look like the Carters have managed to raise the cash to save Grafton Hill from seizing the pub from them, something tells us it's not going to be that straightforward. Bosses say the family are set to lose the Vic, and are determined to make their last year in Albert Square their best Christmas yet. Surely Danny Dyer and Kelly Bright aren't leaving the So, The couple will also throw everything into renewing their wedding vows, but their plans could be thrown into doubt. Thanks to his involvement with a mystery newcomer, which brings us to Who is this Aiden McGuire? Phil Mitchell's former cellmate is introduced in the coming weeks and soon becomes involved in a scheme with him and Vincent Hubbard. However, desperate for cash, Mick also finds himself embroiled when he approaches him about a job that could be the answer to all his problems. We've been warned that if Aiden is cross that he will be hanging their baubles on the Christmas tree, so what really is his game, and can he be trusted? Will Mick go to prison? Desperate to keep a roof over his family's head, Mick takes a huge risk that comes with deadly consequences. Has he just bought himself a ticket for a stay at Her Majesty's pleasure? How will Wilmot Brown and his family be taken down? 
We know that Max is set to get his comeuppance, but what about those he has been conspiring with? Well, in an interview with Radio Times, the soap's creative director, John York, has promised Wilmot Brown and his crew will get what's coming to them too. The Browning family and their wider clan will be at the heart of the drama, as all of those involved in the plot to buy up and build over Albert Square get there. Spectacular comeuppance, he said. Will Kathy Beale play a part in taking her rapist and his family down or will the dodgy way they have been acquiring properties on Albert Square come back to haunt them? One thing that is certain is that Lisa Faulkner is leaving her role as Fee Browning, so we'd imagine the writing is on the wall for the rest of the clan once justice is served. Catch up on all the latest soap news and Spoilers here.